Welcome to Cinnamon Bear Outdoors. Today we're going to be using some beeswax as well as some other products and we're going to be making a leather conditioner and waterproofer as well as a wood finish. So stick around. So to start the process we're going to go ahead and melt down the, uh, the beeswax. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but on this glass jar I've got it marked into thirds. So we're going to take three equal parts of beeswax turpentine, and boiled linseed oil. Now this is what's going to give us for the wood finish. Um, the jar that I'm using, I actually went to the second hand store and was able to pick them up for 50 cents a piece. Uh, they're just old mason jars, the smaller ones. Uh, they must have been somebody's art project because they had a bunch of paint on them. But with a little bit of elbow grease and some uh, carb cleaner, we were able to get them cleaned up pretty good. Now that we got the beeswax melted, we're going to go ahead and turn the stirrer off. And we're right to our line. And we're going to add the boiled linseed oil. And right up to that second line. And you're going to notice that beeswax coagulate a little bit because this linseed oil it's pretty cold. It's been out in my garage. So we'll go ahead and turn the stirrer back on and get that all mixed up together and let it melt back down again. Now that that's all been melted together, turn the stirrer off. Now comes the turpentine. I'm going to go ahead and mention here, turpentine is extremely flammable. So don't be using it around any open flame. That's why I'm using the hot plate right up to the mark and we'll let that mix up too once it gets good and mixed up then we'll just go ahead and put the lid on it and then let her cool down and it should be good to use now it's all bottled up we just need to let it cool we're going to go ahead and label it This is our paste wax finish. And I've actually got a project over in the lathe that I've been wanting to use this for, so hopefully this will cool down and uh, we can we can get show you guys how it's gonna look once it's all said and done on a project. So let's go ahead and get to get to melting our beeswax for our boot paste. So now that we've got that wax melted, we're gonna go ahead and use some neat's foot oil and like I said with this one for the boot compound we're going to go 50-50 if not a little heavy on the wax just a little less than 50-50 because I, I want that wax to really protect my boots because that's what gives it the uh... if you watch closely at the bottom of the glass you'll see where my troubles began and I didn't even notice it for a little while That's what gives it the protection from the weather. And then the neat's foot oil actually acts as well. It looks like I'm going to have to get a new uh, a new jar. I'll go on it. Well, that's what happens. So we'll go get a new jar and we'll go from there. Well, as you can see, that one was an epic fail. What had happened was my needs foot oil was cold. And when I went to pour it into that hot liquid, when it went down to the bottom, it cracked the bottom out of the jar. So we'll get it cleaned up and we'll try it again. Well, there it is, folks. My 50 cent learning experience now, if you're going to do this you might want to either pour your oil really slowly or warm it up because uh, that's what had happened is when i poured that uh, needs foot oil 
in to that warm beeswax. The neat's foot oil, you can see it goes straight to the bottom and then it busted out the bottom of that glass. Just a hot piece of glass adding cold to it, contraction and snapped the bottom. But we were able to salvage it. Uh, it scraped up off of the table pretty easily. And uh, we melted her back down and put her in a bigger jar. But now we've got boot paste and a paste wax finish. And once they cool off, we'll uh, go ahead and apply them. And hopefully it all turns out good. This here is the project that I was kind of excited about on the lathe. And, uh, to use that paste wax finish on. Now it doesn't look like much. Um, but this is my son's first project on the lathe. And uh, we're making a handle for one of the tools that we've made here. So pretty proud of the way it's turned out. Pretty proud that uh, my son decided to, to take an interest in this. And it's, I don't know if you can really see, this is out of some maple. And we just about got it all sanded up nice and smooth. And you can kind of see those grains in there. There's really see some of that grain there. But uh, I'll show you when we put the paste wax on. There's still a couple of things that we need to do to it. Uh, and then we'll put the paste wax finish on and show you the, the finished product. So we'll let that stuff soak in a little bit and then we'll wipe off the excess and then we'll turn the lathe on and bring it to a polish. So we've let that sit for about 10 minutes and now we're just going to go ahead and burnish that in there. Wipe off all the excess. You can see how shiny that's getting. So it's definitely doing some burnishing. You can come in here. You can really see that how that brings that grain out. So if you can look right here, that's untreated, pretty white. And then over here, it kind of gives it just a little bit darker of a color. Not quite a stain, but definitely really makes that, uh, that grain pop out of there a little bit.